All right, beautiful. We will get started with Karen Kornacki. Go ahead, Karen. Thanksgiving. Yeah, you too. Um, first of all, just wanted to ask you, I have two questions, one football, one non-football. So the football question, that is, you and Tom Brady have had tremendous battles. And when you guys have led your teams, sometimes it's been for, you know, championships division to get to a championship. Now that he's with the Bucks, is it going to feel any different to face a team led by a guy you've battled with the last couple of years? Uh, I, don't, I don't think it's going to feel very much different. I mean, it's still a very good football team uh, that's playing really good football and been winning a lot of football games. And so uh, we know it's going to be a great challenge for us, uh, and we're excited for it. And my second question is, I understand that people have been making Royals jerseys with Mahomes number 15, and Whit Merrifield's wondering, hey, what about me? What can you do to clear this up? Or do you find this kind of funny that, you know, you and Whit are sharing number 15 with the Royals? Yeah, no, it's uh, it, it's funny for sure. Whit's a great dude. Uh, I actually talk to him a lot uh, through, through text messages and stuff like that. And so uh, we'll have to make sure we get the Merrifield uh, Royals jerseys going again. If not, we'll have to get some Merrifield Chiefs jerseys or something. Let's go next to Nate Taylor. Go ahead, Nate. Um, Patrick, when it comes to Tom, I know this is one of the games that you circled on your calendar when the schedule came out. Can you just give us an, a perspective of how you took the news of when Tom decided to go join the Buccaneers and the idea of uh, obviously getting a chance to maybe speak to him after Sunday's battles the way you have in your, you know, the previous three meetings with him? Yeah, um, I mean, I think I was just as surprised as everyone was whenever he wasn't uh, going back to New England and he was he was going to Tampa Bay. But uh I mean, it, he's in a great spot. I mean, they got a lot of weapons there, and then and Coach Arians is a great coach, and and they're winning a lot of football games. And so for us, uh, we're just going to kind of go in with that same mindset as if we're going to play any other great football team, and then that's where we're going to battle every single play. Go next to Sam McDowell. Go ahead, Sam. Hey, Patrick. In, in two-minute situations, game-winning drive situations, you really haven't had a lot of those opportunities in your career. I'm just wondering how much you relish just getting the chance to do something like you did on Sunday. Yeah, I mean, it's it's your dream when you grow up. You want to be able to lead a team down the field and and throw the game-winning touchdown and do all those cool things. Uh, luckily enough, we've won a lot of games and ha haven't needed it. Defense has played well, and, and, we've, and we've scored and built leads early. But uh, it, it's good to know that if, that if that opportunity presents itself, that we have the guys that are that are ready to go and that can, and can execute at a high level whenever it's a, a highly uh, a frantic moment. Go next to Mike Jones. Go ahead, Mike. Patrick, uh, Tom Brady's been like the face of the year for the last, you know, 20, face of the league for the last 20 years, and you've kind of ascended to one of those prominent roles. What does it mean to be on that level as far as popularity, excellence, and just the, the weight that that also carries? Yeah, I mean, I don't know if I'm on his, his level yet. I mean, he, he, he was someone that's a global – a global star and so for me I just I just try to be myself uh, I just go out there every single day and and put in the work and try to win football games and all that other stuff kind of comes with it and then for me I just try to be a normal guy and 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 live it up with my teammates and have fun doing it let's go next to Sam Mellinger go ahead Sam hey uh Patrick <clears throat> excuse me one thing that's obvious is uh defenses are playing you guys a lot differently than they play most of the other opponents uh particularly when you look at uh, blitz percentages, for instance. I'm just wondering when, when you're watching film, how much of what you, you're looking for, you, you kind of have to imagine how they're going to defend you differently, right? Like, how, how do you bridge, how do you close that gap between what you see on film and what you expect to see on Sunday? Yeah, I think you have, to, you have to prepare for everything. I think that's the biggest thing. I mean, we go into every one of these game plans and we, and we really break down each and every game that the teams have played, the blitzes that they've brought on certain situations, and we, we prepare ourselves for those blitzes. Um, and then if we get different coverages and if we get uh, more shell type coverages, we, we can execute against that too. And so I think Coach Reed does a great job of preparing me uh, for every single coverage and, and blitz that, that can get presented. And I think our whole staff of EB and Coach Heck and Coach Kafka, they do a good job of making sure I'm prepared for every single situation, no matter what look that we get. Let's go next to Pete Sweeney. Go to Pete. Hey Patrick, as much as I know a lot of people will be looking at the quarterback matchup in this this battle, it really is a battle of weapons, as you've kind of noted with Godwin, Evans, Brown, and Gronk versus Hill, Watkins, Hardman, Kelsey. Wondering how you feel like your guys stack up against what they bring to the table offensively. Yeah, I mean, I would take my guys versus anybody. I mean, it's simple as that. Let's go next to Harold Koontz. Go ahead, Harold. 
Hey, Patrick, uh, happy early Thanksgiving to you. Uh, one question, one question on one off, uh, Sunday after the game, Clyde Edwards, Alaire said like, I ain't worried. I got Patrick Mahomes. Travis Kelsey said, I got one five. Andy Reid said, I got Patrick Mahomes. When you hear things like that from your own teammates, what's that mean to you to hear stuff like that for them to have the utmost confidence in you in whatever situation you guys are faced with. And then the other question is just, what are you thankful for, especially during this year and, and Thanksgiving? Yeah, I mean, to the, your first question, I mean, it gives me confidence to know that the guys believe in me just as much as I believe in them. And I, you have to have that if you want to win these football games against these great opponents and these, these pressure-packed situations. You have to have the, the total confidence of each other to know that we're going to go out there and give whatever we have uh, in order to win a football game, no matter what that is. Um, and then to what I'm thankful for, I mean, I'm thankful for, I mean, everything that God's blessed me with, of, of a great family, uh, being able to play the sport that I love, and being healthy and being able to, to come every day doing something that I love with, with a lot of guys that, that are doing the same thing. We've got two more. We'll go Sarah and then Darren. Go ahead, Sarah. Hey, Patrick. Um, I know Andy Reid shared a story about Tom Brady coming to visit you guys outside the locker room or maybe inside the locker room after you lost in the AFC championship. And Andy said that it meant a lot to him and he knows that it meant a lot to you as well. Can you share um, what happened there and maybe what Tom said to you and what that meant? Yeah, I mean, he, he just grabbed me after the game. Uh, we were, I was kind of leaving the stadium, and they had, I mean, obviously been celebrating about to go to the Super Bowl, and he kind of just – we, we, he just talked about uh, uh, how he, he respected how I did everything the right way and stuff like that. And so it, it's just cool to um, have a guy of, of, of that stature who's, who's won championships, uh, seems like year in and year out, uh, that, that has respect for your game as much as you have respect for his. And so uh, – uh, it, it was definitely a cool experience that I was able to know that I was doing things, doing things the right way early in my career. Let's go next to Darren Smith. Go, Darren. Uh, Patrick, first and foremost, I uh, hope you and the family and the team have a happy Thanksgiving on tomorrow. Um, when you look at this Tampa Bay Bucks defense, you know, Todd Bowles, I know he's, he's known for his blitz packages, but he hasn't really gotten enough, a lot of pressure uh, on the quarterbacks the last two ball games. Is there anything of concerning to you when you face this team uh, on Sunday? And then also, uh, you know, Brady's been getting a lot of flack about whether he shakes hands after a win or a loss in the two games that you, or the three games that you all played in the games that you defeated the Patriots, has he come and shaking your hand after afterwards? Well, it was just it was just one, and and he shook my hand after that one, and so uh, uh, yeah, I mean, that, I think that's kind of a a weird deal that I think the fans uh, fans and media run with, and the players don't. I mean, it doesn't matter as much uh, to us. Um, but uh, to your to your uh, actually, what was your first question again? One more time. Yeah, just about the Tampa Bay defense, Todd Bowles, oh, yeah. and the style of defense getting pressure on you. Yeah, no, I mean, they have a lot of great players. I think that's the, the biggest thing. Um, and they do a lot of different stuff. I was here uh, the, my rookie year when, when Alex went up against the Jets and, and they were doing a lot of different pressure stuff. And they've even evolved even more now uh, with the different playmakers that they have on every level of the defense. And so uh, against a defense like this, against Todd Bowles, a great defensive corner, you have to make sure you kind of you kind of dot every I and cross every T and that you're prepared for everything because you, you never know what to expect. And I, I mean, that's the fun part about it. It's, it's going to be a great challenge for us. It'll be a great mental uh, battle for me. Um, and then being able to go out there, play fast, and, and try to execute at a high level.